This is a custom PC build by Haste Repair Group. It's a lot of a, uh, it's an interesting blend of hardware all put into this large AZZA PC case. So this case has many different cooling options. It currently has eight fans installed. And we'll get a look at the front grill here. We have two blue LED intake fans with a door which we'll show later on to access them. And we have many expansion bays, ASUS optical drive, USB 2.0, eSATA, USB 3.0, microphone and headphone jacks. And there's a rather large fan on the side of the PC case. Uh, another slot for another fan which I removed because it was noisy. And a nice looking grill. This looks very uh, industrial. And the blend of blue and red LEDs I think adds a nice touch. So we'll take a look at the rear I.O. here. On the back of the graphics card, which is a EVGA GeForce GTX 660 3GB superclocked card, we have 2x DVI, DisplayPort, and HDMI. On the rear I.O. of the motherboard, we have, which is a ASUS Maximus 6 Pro, or Hero, uh, audio in and out, 4x USB 3.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, 2x USB 2.0, old style PS2 mouse and keyboard connections, oh, 4x USB 2.0 actually, an HDMI port you don't really need to use. There's the top of the PC case with two pretty large fans, and there's the red LED exhaust fan in. There's also a CPU cooling fan on the other side of the case. Uh, featured on this case, actually, which I kind of glossed over there, there's a speed control, which were those two little red buttons at the top of the back case. So here we have a stock Intel CPU fan and heatsink, which I'm okay with because there's so many other fans to cool this down, and I never ran into any overheating situation with this PC um, and there is an Intel i7-4770 uh, CPU installed at 3.5 gigahertz there's uh, another look at the case fans and there's an Antec true power 750 watt power supply and there is a Samsung 850 EVO 250 gigabyte solid state drive as well as a Western Digital Blue 250 gigabyte solid state drive installed. Of course you can install many more hard drives as you can see there's many bays for them. This could be a really good uh, server, home NAS, Plex server, etc. Here's a look at all the slots on the motherboard. I'm not really going to talk about it too much. I'll just link to a uh, information page down below and there's another shot at the GTX 663 gigabyte card and over there well I didn't talk about the RAM actually we have 16 gigabytes of G skill ripjaw RAM um, with a speed of 1866 megahertz it's pretty cool It's pretty hard to uh, cable manage with the cables coming out of that particular power supply. Um, luckily, well, there's the uh, that front panel that opens up, which is pretty cool, and that exposes all the uh, bays for the hard drives and solid state drives. But anyways, I would have liked to do a little bit more cable management, but the this is a really big case, and those cables are a bit short and luckily you don't see them too much when it's closed up. So here's the Heaven benchmark, which produced some pretty favorable results. And we also ran the Valley benchmark.
For some reason it says Windows 8, but this is running Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. Uh, pretty favorable results as well. Pretty well what I expected. And here is the another benchmark that I'm forgetting the name of at the moment, but an image will show up in a moment to tell us. There it is, the superposition benchmark. So there you have it. Leave me a comment.